Hey, hello everybody, welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. Alright. <coughs> hey, you better watch out, fishy. Dead horses can't. Oh, I should put my weapon away. These people are seem friendly. Hello there. Yeah, I'll tag. I'll, I'll tag as well. Good. Well, good. Goodbye then. You there. Hey. Listen, you better figure your life out, alright? Yeah, I'll tag. Yeah, I'll tag. Yeah, I'll tag. Yeah, I'll tag. Yeah, yeah, I'll tag. What the hell does it mean, you guys? Are they like telling me to eat shit or like are they my friend? Wouldn't be uh wouldn't be too ideal to uh take that stuff. <laughs> wouldn't be too ideal to take that stuff either, alright. <clears throat> Apparently this is where Joshua is. Can I pick this? Oh I can pick it. I can pick it. The Angel Cave, you guys. Alexander Zuka, Joshua Graham. Hello there. <clears throat> uh, am I looking for Joshua? Yes, I am. Could you tell me where he is? You know our tongue. Smart, Auslander. Auslander. Joshua in high place of Cain. You show respect, Utman. Joshua is greatest warrior. You show him no respect. He show you thunder and fire. All right. I'll be sure to be on my best behavior then. You wise for Auslander. Alright, so I can actually understand these people now? Guten Tag. Ja Tag. Ja Tag. Guten Tag. Hey, you guys got red mushrooms here. <coughs> these jars, you guys. Clay pot. There can't really be a place where people go into big buildings and give away all their money just to watch someone flip paper squares on a table. <laughs> there certainly is. Oh, watch out. Who's this man? Yeah, our dog. Good. Good. Crazy, oh, they got red mushrooms up in here. What the hell is that? I don't know if that's a glowing crystal or if that's like, um, like a, what the fuck is that? What is that? A fire bomb? Like the shadow of a ghost. Guten Tag. <laughs> uh, hello there. We should have given you a better welcome on your first visit. <clears throat> oh my god, you guys, it's Bane! From what I hear, the White Legs beat us to it. White Legs seem to be the only visitors we have these Motherfucker's days. got a whole stack of guns! And I wouldn't have expected anyone from the Mojave to come looking for us. And you're a courier, no less. Not the one I was expecting, but I suppose he wouldn't have come with a caravan. I don't know if you were close to the other members of your group, but you have my sympathy. I pray for the safety of all good people who come to Zion, even Gentiles. But we can't expect God to do all the work. Hmm. So how do you know so much about what happened to me? The dead horses are capable scouts. Nothing passes into or out of Zion without my hearing of it. Well, I came here with the Happy Trails Caravan Company to make contact with the new canines. Happy Trails. I remember. They were good friends. Good. I have bad news for your employers. Oh, bad. New Canaan was destroyed. What? Its citizens scattered. All because of the White Legs. And Caesar, of course. Caesar? The White Legs want to join the Legion. Ugh. Caesar's rite of passage is the destruction of the New Canaanites. Almost assuredly because of me. How many guns you got? The good news is that we can help you find your way back. Daniel, one of the other New Canaanites, has made many maps of the region. The bad news is that we can't help you right now. <clears throat> not with everything that's going on. Well, I'm not going to leave without offering to help, so what can I do? You're a good neighbor to us. We all go through periods of darkness. 
In such times, we can turn to the Lord. But it's good to have friends. Daniel and I need pre-war tools to help us navigate beyond Zion. Should we need to evacuate, these instruments will be vital to us. Normally, we would have some of the dead horses or sorrows look for them. But many pre-war buildings in the valley are taboo. They won't go inside. Well, I'll see what I can do. Thank you. Follow Chalk can help you find your way around the valley. He's inexperienced, but he knows enough of our language to ignore the taboos about pre-war buildings. Huh. All right, are we allowed to go over there and actually talk to him? What's up? You sure have a lot of guns there, my friend. Guns that... Oh, oh, oh. 45 auto, you guys. Oh, I want one of those. <laughs> oh, I can actually take the rest of them too. Did you stop moving? Huh. Nope. Welcome back. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to do. Hold on, sir. Okay, he has a lot of stuff to talk about. Scouting, not just following. Did you get the hell out of my way? Okay, I can't take any of those. <clears throat> okay, I can't take any more of them. Hold on. Oh. Nice. Binoculars. Coffee? What? Get out of town! They got coffee up in here, you guys. How's that? Oh, casings. Mm -hmm. What's that? A bunch of sensor modules and some duct tape. Right, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> There's some pretty valuable stuff in here, hold on. Make sure we get a game save. Ooh, that 45 auto is dirty, you guys. M1911? Let's go. Come on. <clears throat> oh, come on now. Here we are. Here we are. Purified water. Oop. Right. Now we can only carry five more pounds, but... Ooh, nasty. So let's uh, hotkey that there. Put Annabelle in her normal spot. Frag grenade. Rifle in the normal spot. Okay, rifle, laser rifle. Marksman's carbine in the normal spot. <coughs> Shotgun. Uh, what the hell's that on the bottom left? Oh, the frag, uh, frag mines? Yeah. Okay, frag mine. Hold on. I want to see this 45 auto, you guys. Oh! That is dirty! Oh! Oh, I cannot wait. Unfortunately, we barely have any ammo for it, though. So that'll be a slight complication. There's a whole bunch of stuff here that I really, really want. But I cannot get it because that man is there. Got everything we need right here. Just <laughs> wear a hide. I'm not sure what that is. 
Recycling. Okay. Feels good to be doing some actual scouting. Not just following. I can't walk past this point, you guys. Oh, oh, oh. Exit to the Eastern Virgin. <laughs> I didn't see that pop up. Uh, where are we? We're like in a, another area now? Or there? <laughs> well, there, sir. Got that. I'll tug. Oh, these are the two people in the last episode from down below. Remember, I was like, yo, there's two uh, spots up there? Yeah, I tug. What's wrong with you? You look cold or something. <laughs> Need a hug? Need a big hug? What's going on? What's happening? What's happening? I'm ready. I'm ready for anything, I tell you. Well, what's happening? <laughs> well, all right. <laughs> well, you two have a have a good old time out here. Oh, I can't wait to shoot this gun, you guys. I know it's gonna be nice and loud. Bang! <laughs> M1911, in my opinion, is the best handgun ever made, and that's basically what this is. I mean, it, it even looks like one. Welcome back. What can I do for you? All right, well, I have some questions for you. So what did you say about a courier, man? You were expecting somebody? Caesar would never admit this openly, but he knows that I'm alive. I've killed enough of his frumentarii and assassins that have come looking. I've heard one of them travels the Mojave as a courier. Most of Caesar's agents meet a fitting end in NCR territory. But maybe this one survived. Hmm. Well, Caesar's dead. I saw to that personally. I just thought you should know. I have to admit, it's hard to believe. That even after all he did to me, all he tried to do to find and erase me from this world, he went first. No doubt this will be good for the Mojave. I can only hope Arizona and the tribes don't suffer as the Legion falls apart around them. Well, they won't. I'll make sure the Legion has very little to go home with. Hmm. Good. You're doing God's work, whether you believe it or not. I pray? God? What are you talking about? I am a new Canaanite. We believe we are the heirs of a spiritual tradition given to our ancestors thousands of years ago. We have made and kept covenants with our Lord God to honor his laws. In exchange, we are promised eternal salvation after this life. A day will come when our Lord returns to judge us all. Until then, we must honor his laws and start others along the path of salvation if we can. That's why we trade with others and work the tribes. We have more than food and medicine to offer. Good news is our most valuable commodity. Hmm. Sounds like a good deal. In a world filled with misery <laughs> and uncertainty, it is a great comfort to know that, in the end, there is light in the darkness. Every day we move closer to our judgment. We must do our best to walk in the footsteps of our Lord and teach others how to do the same. For many of us, the road is a difficult one. But the path is always there for us to follow, no matter how many times we may fall. Do you ever fall? Every day. Some days are harder than others. Hmm. All nice guns. In the Great Basin and Colorado Plateau, all tribes are known for a specific weapon. White legs are known for their big submachine guns, storm drums. They broke into an armory near Spanish Fork and have been using them for years. Of course, the dead horses have their wooden war clubs, and even the sorrows have their Yao Guai gauntlets. What? This type of 45 automatic pistol was designed by one of my tribe almost 400 years ago. Learning its use 
is a new Canaanite rite of passage. Damn, 400 years ago, it's a legit M 1911, you guys. Mmm, juicy. Can't wait to shoot something in the face with that. So you uh, run the show around here? I wouldn't say that. I am the acting war chief for the Dead Horses. They look up to me for such matters, but I only have the authority they give me. Daniel is a spiritual leader and main link of the new Canaanites to the Sorrows. He's up in the Narrows right now. So what's going on with all these tribes? A great deal. There are three, we think four, tribes here in Zion. You've already met the White Legs on the way in. In this camp, you'll find dead horses. In the Narrows, the Sorrows. And finally, there's Daniel and myself. We're new Canaanites. Hmm. So why'd the White Legs attack my caravan? They attack everyone who isn't a White Leg, especially caravans. They don't know how to survive on their own, so they have to raid. Hmm. But as for why they are here, they are trying to wipe us out. All of us. They want to join Caesar's legion, and they can only prove their work by destroying the new Canaanites and everyone we shelter. Hmm. Do they speak our language? Most don't. It's been hundreds of years since the war. They've developed their own languages. Take the dead horses. We think they were originally refugees from a place called Rez, east of the Grand Canyon. They speak a combination of Rez and the language spoken by travelers who were visiting Rez when the bombs fell. Over time, two languages blended. I was a translator years ago, but it's hard to keep up with all of the tribal variations. Does the valley belong to the dead horses? The valley belongs to God. <laughs> But no, the dead horses live at Dead Horse Point, up the Colorado River. They came here because I asked them to. Before I returned to the fold, I visited them years earlier. I looked much different then, but I left an impression on them. I taught them how to hunt more efficiently, how to maintain their weapons and pre-war equipment. When I returned, they showed their appreciation. Why haven't I seen any Soros in the valley, then? The Soros have many skilled hunters among them, but no warriors. They have not had to deal with war or raiders for decades. Even though they can hunt a full-grown Yaogwai, they don't know how to deal with the White Legs. That's why we're here. Hmm. Are the new Canaanites really a tribe? We wear more clothing than them and understand more about technology. But we're still a tribe, a linked family of families. The Boneyard, Phoenix, New Vegas, they're just places, metal and stone. New Canaan dies, but the tribe lives on. When the walls come tumbling down, when you lose everything you have, you always have family. And your family always has tribe. Ooh, do you have anything to trade? We do. Ooh. Though the White Legs destroyed New Canaan, they didn't destroy all of our supply caches. All forms of currency are recognized here. Caps, NCR dollars, even Legion coin. Take a look. AP HD slide. Increases condition. Silences the weapon. SMG compensator, <coughs> SMG drums. Ammo boxes. Fireballs. Oh, it's a Malta. Well, I guess it's for a war club, I guess. I mean, like, quite literally. <clears throat> Restore limb condition. 
heal perception and limb damage or sword limb condition. Okay, let's just grab that for now. Uh, oh, 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 he has 100 repair skill, you guys. My, uh, eh? Can I ask you some personal questions? Right now, I'd like you to focus on helping Daniel. Maybe there will be time later. Alright. Alright, see you, man. God be with you. <laughs> and also with you. May 45s be with you. Come on. Anything as nasty as Yao Wai, where you come from. <clears throat> oh, you have no idea, pal. Ah, uh, hey, baby. Good. Good. Search the ruins of the crashed scout bus for a compass. Gone fishing. Search the Zion fishing log for walkie talkies. Oh, well, this one's super close. We'll hit up this cave on the way. Yeah, I like this DLC so far. Where's my homie? Okay. Uh, house, sweet house. Alright, you guys, this is the Fallen Rock Cave. should find a place to uh, put stuff as well. Very true. There's like no enemies in here. A little weird. There can't really be a place where people go into big buildings and we'll give away all their money just to watch someone flip paper squares on a table. Exit to the Eastern Virgin. Well, let's see where it brings us. Okay. <laughs> okay, 
<laughs> just keep swimming, my man. Just keep swimming. What the fuck? The hell was that? What was that? Oh, it was another recharger pistol. <laughs> Old damn fucking wall exploded, man. Reloading bench footlocker? Oh, bro, there's a ton of My man! Well, let's just see if there's any more in here, I guess. <laughs> Easiest way to find out. This wouldn't be a too bad of a place to shack up. What the? Year 2077. Or you guys can hit pause and read that if you want. Holy shit, I'm pretty glad that I did not decide to read that. Uh, Happy New Year. Right. Yeah, I think we should use this place as our uh, house. You know what I'm saying? Let's gather all the stuff in here. Like our temporary house for while we're here in this DLC. Because we've got everything we need here. We got a campfire over there, a workbench, reloading bench, Dean's electronics. <laughs> what more do we need? <laughs> Take all that. Boom. Give me. Come on. Use those. Those. gonna use this location as our stash spot like there's a bed here and everything it's literally everything all in one spot the, the perfect location give me give me I hear some odd things about the civilized lands outside Zion is there really a giant thunder lizard people compliance inside? regulator the fuck is that an electric weapon? What is that? Whoa. It's like some type of like new age laser pistol. Oh, yeah. So. Oh. Box 
Uh, well, guys, I'm actually, uh, I'll put all the stuff away and uh, get us ready for the next episode there. I'll cut it right here so you guys won't have to watch all that bullshit. Thank you guys for coming out and <laughs> watching this episode of Fallout New Vegas. Do me a favor, guys, leave a like on the video, maybe subscribe to the channel. And I freaking love you and I wish you the total best. Hope you guys have a freaking awesome rest of your day. And as always, I'll see you guys in the very next episode, so be sure to have a good one. Bye-bye.